Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to embed your Eventbrite events into your website using SociableKit and the website builder WordPress. Now, we're going to the official page of SociableKit and from here, if you haven't created your account yet, just click this create widget button. And if you have already have an account, just click this login button. And now from here, we're gonna have to click this create widget button. And if you click this, it will always redirect you to the creation of widget page. And from here, we're going to select our widget type. And that widget type is Eventbrite Events. Now it says here that we have to put our Eventbrite ID. So what is our Eventbrite ID? Now going to Eventbrite page. From here, we're going to use this Eventbrite Events from the Employment Expo. Now we're going to copy the code or the ID. Now this is the ID. We can copy this and paste it here. Now all we have to do now is click next. Here is our Eventbrite events. As you can see, everything that is in here is also in our Eventbrite event page. Now we're going to the customization and moderation tab located at the left side of the screen and I'm going to highlight some of them. First, we're going to the themes tab. In here, there are many different kinds of default theme. There is Maaliwala's theme, Maayos theme, and Maagap theme, and so on. Now, each of these has its own color combination. So, for example, this Maayos theme. If I click yes, this color combination of black, white, brown, and gray should be embedded into our feed. Now, moving on into the event feed. In here, we can change the default view, the event count, the translation, and so on of our feed. So in the default feed, or the, in the default view, we can change it into list, masonry, grid, carousel, or month. So in our case, I'm going to put it into grid, and I can change the event count into, I mean, I can't really change anything because there is only two. Now. We can change the date format, the month range, and the translation. We can also use a 24 hour clock. And if you are already good, you can save change to embed this completely into your feed. As you can see, it is now in the grid default view. Moving on to the basic colors. In here, you can manually change the background color, the feed font color, the background event color of your feed if you didn't find the perfect color theme in the themes tab for your website. Next up in the pop-up tab, in here you can change the background color of your pop-up tab. If you click this, you can change the color of it. You can also change the font color, the pop-up link color, and you can also show the map if you want to or you can unshow or hide the image if you want to. Moving on to the fonts tab, in here you can change your font family. So for example, from the Central Gothic family, I'm going to change it into Allegria Sans. Now if I click save changes, this should apply into our feed. And as you can see, it is now in Allegria Sans font family. Now you can also change the font size of the event title, the line height, the default font size, default font light height, and the font letter spacing. Lastly, is the CSS tab. In here, if you have any custom CSS that you want to put, or if you have any different kinds of the design that you want to add into the feed, you can put it here. Now, if you are finished, you can now embed this into our website by clicking this Embed on Website button. And it says here that we have to select our website builder. Now, our website builder that we're going to use is WordPress. In here, we're going to follow this step-by-step -step instruction on how to embed this by first copying the JavaScript code. Now go into our WordPress website. Now keep in mind that you can put it into an existing page or in a new page. In our case, I'm going to put it in a new page. So we can add a title first. Um, employment Expo Events. And we're going to add a block. And that block is custom HTML. This is necessary to embed the JavaScript code from the sociable kit. And all you have to do now is paste it. And that is basically it. You can publish it if you want, or you can preview it first so you can see which uh, small details that you want to add or small details that you want to change. You can preview it first. 
now we're going to publish it now to fully see what it looks like in a WordPress website and as you can see everything is in here now from the font color from the theme which is in Maagap theme from the font uh, size or font family and so on so everything that we change is embedded into this WordPress website and that is all guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any feedbacks or any requests and that is all guys i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial